Hey there guys, I'm a little bit wet um, because it's raining right now but I thought I'd do a vlog today because um, we're going to Chemnitz where I'm from. Maybe you have heard about the things that are currently happening there. There is a lot of people um, that rage against immigrants, against refugees and stuff like that. Um, and so there is going to be a concert today to kind of oppose these people and to say that Germany is a country where immigrants are welcome, where refugees are welcome and where we don't want any Nazis um, because there have been quite a lot of those lately um, in the news and stuff like that. So there's going to be a big concert with um, bands that are German and that are, you know, more on the left side, uh, if you can say so. So yeah, um, since I am from there, we decided to go and see whether um, we will survive that. There is tons and tons of people that want to go, so this might be very crowded and I get scared a little bit with like huge crowds. So we'll just see what, it, what happens and if it's, you know, too uncomfortable, we'll go somewhere else. Um, but yeah, this is a three hour drive from where I live now, but yeah, since I have, I'm on holiday right now, um, yeah, it just seemed right. So we'll see whether my little car can take us there. I am just, I just got home from a business meeting because you know I'm on vacation and stuff, clearly. Um, there's the cat, we won't take her though. Um, yeah, so maybe it will take you long and I hope that nothing bad happens. So yeah, let's see.
and I wanted to do a little bit of a wrap up part at the end because we didn't really record anything major during the vlog, just a few impressions, stuff like that. So I wanted to say a couple of things to end this video properly. Now it's been a few days since we've been in Chemnitz and as I said in the intro bit I think I... this is my hometown, you know? And it was very difficult for me to see the media portrayed in a way that I never saw. Like I know that there is people who hate but that's just not the way I ever saw my city. And so it was very, very, very important for me personally to go there and to see that this is not what it has become. I mean, I left there about two months ago and it was so weird to see all these clips on Twitter and the tweets and all and be like, well, it, it can't have changed so much in two months. Um, so yeah, it was so important for me to go there and to see that this is still the place that I grew up in and there is still so many people who are not who are just not like that, you know, who are not Nazis, who are not against immigrants and refugees and stuff like that, who are welcoming, who are nice, who are just amazing people, just normal people. And this event turned out to have 60, no, yeah, 65,000 visitors, basically. So there were 65,000 people coming to that event. And that is literally amazing. Like there were 6,000 Nazis the week before. So to have like that huge amount of response was amazing. Now, the media always kind of makes it sound like those Nazis were all from Chemnitz or from Saxony, which is absolutely wrong. They came from everywhere, like all the neighboring states and stuff like that. So you could say the same thing about those 65,000 people who came there to be against that. Um, but when I was there, I actually realized that the voices I heard around me, like the accents that people talked in, they were very local. Like I never had the feeling that there is like tons and tons of people from like um, other places. There were so many people from Saxony, from the towns that are around Chemnitz, from Chemnitz, attending this event. And even though when we drove home there were a lot of people and from all over Germany, which was great to see, like a lot of places that are, you know, close to where I live now, um, which is quite a drive, but still you never or it never gave the impression that it was all just people from the outside, from far away, that came there. And there were a lot of people saying that, you know, um, these 65 people came there to have a free concert, which is a fair point. I mean, there was a free concert. But to be honest, with 65,000 people there, you don't really see a lot of the concert, like I can tell you, because we were actually quite in the middle and still I never saw the stage. <laughs> so this was not just about this concert thing. And I hope that I can insert some pictures or clips that give a little bit of an impression of what happened there, because it was very special, but um, very hard to capture on camera or in pictures. And yeah, so it was just great. It was just great. Now, I also wanted to mention that everything stayed super peaceful. The police really didn't have to intervene or anything like that. They kept very much in the background, which I think is great because I usually don't feel so safe if there's a lot of people, uh, not a lot of people, a lot of police around me because, you know, they can hurt you um, and they have the right to kind of in that sense so they always scare me a little bit not that i'm a criminal or anything but you know you, you know what i mean so yeah it was just such a nice atmosphere there were so many people with kids and 
there were actually like three main parts of this and one of these little parts which was a park there were food stands and stuff like that where you could get food and drink and stuff and it was just like I don't know how to say it, but it didn't feel very political. It still felt very down to earth, like for normal people. Like obviously some of the speeches on the stage were very political and they were very left winged political speeches. And many people said that they didn't like that. And that's absolutely fine. But I don't think that if there was a, like some other you know, like middle of the road politician saying like, oh, I want to make a speech for that event. I don't think they would have said no. I just think that nobody wanted to do that. So um, yeah, so we can all complain about that, but um, it doesn't, it doesn't change anything. And yeah, there were so many elderly people as well who were just wandering around the food stands and were like, wow, what's going on here? Because they've probably never seen the city so crowded because this is a city that has a problem with age. Like there's a lot of elderly people living there and all the younger ones like me are leaving because there's practically no jobs and stuff like that. So yeah, it was just overall an amazing experience and I'm so happy that we went. I was unsure, I was a little bit scared but I totally 100% am so happy that we went. And I do not like those musicians that were there, um, apart from um, one band, which is the Totenhosen, which is, you know, like a very, very old German band who's been around for ages and ages. And yeah, <laughs> all the new stuff, not for me. But yeah, I just wanted to do this little, hopefully quick and scene where I just say a little bit more about this, why I did it, why I enjoyed it and why I would 100% do it again if it wasn't for the, you know, long distance. And yeah, I don't know what else to say apart from, you know, please if um, you see these things on TV and stuff like that, don't always believe what people say. There is a lot of lies out there. Um, not in a way that, you know, like, I know all the Nazis are like, oh, well, this is all lies on TV and stuff. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but there's also, you know, the lies go in all directions. And I feel like, especially with my hometown and the place where I come from, um, it's always portrayed in a very negative way. And I always loved this place and will always be my hometown. And there is so many amazing people living there, working there, doing really hard work to, you know, to kind of save this city and to say that this is, this is not a place where only elderly people and Nazis live. No, there's so much more. And I think this is true for like every place in the world. Um, so don't always believe everything they say on TV. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Um, this was just something that was kind of important to me and I don't know how the video turned out. I have not really looked at the clips yet, but I will get editing right away. So you can see that tonight, hopefully. So yeah, have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.